I hear people all the time tell moms, women in business, women with jobs, stay-at-home moms, all different types of people, really, that there's no such thing as balance. And I disagree. I disagree that there is no such thing as balance. And here's why. I was recently interviewed by Jess Glazer DeRose. You'll find one half of our recording on the Mama House Goals podcast and the other part two half on the Digital Business Evolution podcast. Go check it out. But in that, we brought this up and we talked about this. And she was like, wow, I say that all the time. There's no such thing as balance. What do you mean you disagree? And here's the thing. I think balance is defined by you. We get to decide what balance is. So my version of balance could be different than your version of balance. You've heard me talk before about my three buckets of life. Personal, professional, and family are my three currently in this season and have been for a while. It may change. I don't know when. But those three buckets, to me, need to be in balance. Now, it doesn't mean that they're in balance all the time. This is the difference, right? My version of balance of personal, professional, and family may be different than your version of balance for those three buckets. When you go and measure what is balance for you in those, it may look different. You may spend different amounts of time with your family versus your job. You get to decide what is balance. It doesn't mean that it's equal all the time. And if we think of these as literal buckets, it doesn't mean that they all have the exact amount of water in them, that they're all equally weighted, that they're all equally the same. For me, it's how am I juggling and balancing all three of these buckets? And what does that look like? Now, sometimes one ball is up in the air and I'm moving the other two. Other times I'm holding all three. Other times all three are in the air and my hands are actually empty. And it's figuring out what that balance actually looks like. Now, Jess says, I guess the question is, if you think about it as a seesaw, is it in balance just that one time that you're both equal or is if your feet never touch the ground? Now, when we think about the juggling analogy, it's similar to that. But actually, I like to think about what is the snapshot? What is the time frame? So if you're asking me this hour right now, am I equally juggling all three of my buckets? Well, no, I'm recording a podcast right now. My kids are at school. And personally, I haven't gone for a walk today, although I did get my hair done. So today, when I think about balance, it's making sure that I spend some quality time with my kids by the end of the day. But otherwise, I've checked a lot of those boxes. But currently in this moment, no, I can't be doing all of those three things all at the exact same moment. But if you think about the day as a whole or the week or the month or the season, then that is how I can measure balance. So no, in that one Instagram story, in that one snapshot, it may not be perfectly balanced because to me that wouldn't be balance, right? You can't do everything equally all the time, every second of every day. But if you're finding the different components that make up your version of balance and you're finding different ways to hit those at different hours and different moments of the day, then that's balance. But it depends when you take the picture. It depends on when you're measuring that. When are you taking the balance? Because yeah, at 7 a.m. versus 10 p.m., that picture may look different. So I really don't love when I hear people say there's no such thing as balance. I really always just want to say back, says who? What is balance? Because I can guarantee based off of all the different women listening right now, we all have a different version of balance. And that's beautiful. To me, that's the most exciting thing about this community. And that's what Mama Has Goals stands for, is that we all have different goals. We all have different things that we're looking to accomplish. We have this thread that ties us together called motherhood that we all align with in one way or another, but we all have different goals. We're all looking to accomplish something different and how we achieve that, how we balance those different things is going to look different to all of us. Now, we have a lot of common ground in the sense of many of us talk about laundry and how we make time for us and mom guilt and what our ambitions are and how we want to lead for our children and for ourselves. Those are all things that we share, but the day to day, the hour to hour is probably going to look different. The balance is going to look different how we go and achieve those things. So I don't know how someone could say there's no such thing as balance when you have no idea how that person defines their balance, how they choose to take action. So 
I'm curious to know your thoughts on this. I would love for you to hop into my DMs and tell me. Go to This Is Kelsey Smith on Instagram and send me a message and tell me what does balance mean to you? What does balance look like? How do you define balance? And also, have you felt out of balance? Because I think so often, even though I say this, we've all had moments where we've sat and said, okay, I'm not feeling like I'm hitting all the boxes or I'm dropping the ball here. I'm feeling out of balance because that happens. But that doesn't mean that we don't have a goal of balance. That doesn't mean that we don't have something that we're looking to achieve, what we're going to strive for. And we can be aware of what the different buckets are and what we're looking to do. So I want to encourage you to define your own balance, to reimagine mom life as we say, reimagine balance, reimagine what that looks like to you and remind yourself that if it didn't feel like it was in balance today, you have tomorrow. We have this beautiful, ever-evolving life, and while no one is promised tomorrow, we are always able to do our best to take the next opportunity to do different or better or try again. So what would balance look like for the rest of today, for tomorrow, the rest of the week? Whenever you're listening to this, if you tried to find balance again tomorrow differently, what would that look like? I'm sending you so much love. I cannot wait to get all of these DMs about balance. So please send me a message. I want to know what that looks like for you. Sending you so much love. Keep going after those goals, mama.